Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl, I'm Sally. Today I have some goodies that were kindly sent to me from Diamond Art Gift. So let's check out what I got. First of all, I'm getting into Spooktober early, getting all my Halloween stuff together. And the first thing I picked up was this Happy Halloween sticker. Now I'd had my eye on this one for a little while on all of the budget friendly websites because the photo is actually cut off and it doesn't show the in. So it actually says Happy Halloween <laughs> in the uh, photos. So that's why I thought I'd select it just to see if it is actually the full properly printed sticker or as uh, it shows like that happy or at really happy hallway um, I just wanted to get it just to make sure now, it has come through a little bit squished but if I flatten that out under some heavy stuff that will flatten out nicely and get rid of that line but it is sticky enough to not worry about and yeah I think it's a cute little Halloween sticker and every day of the year is Halloween to me. So I don't have to actually wait till October to get my Halloween on. But yeah. So that's the sticker. And these are the drills. So it looks like there's... I don't even need to get them out. There's four colours in total. And they are the colours that you would expect to see for a Halloween item. And you've also got your standard toolkit. Um, I will measure that just for people who are interested to know how big it is. It's 30 centimeters the entire white part there by 16 centimeters so yeah the stick is about 29 by 15 odd centimeters so that's not bad. That's a nice little kit to do for Spooktober so keep your eye out. I probably will do this one on the channel being it's nice and small and quick. So yeah that's the first one. So the next two kits are both I think of the same series and they're of like a pretty woman with blue hair uh, surrounded by some pink flowers so I got two of them because I just love the image now they're not AB drills they're just standard drills but I think the image is pretty and we'll check it out um, there's your standard toolkit and uh, rather disappointingly there are the drills in these little bags uh, which as you know if you've watched my channel a couple of times I won't get them out because they get too fidgety but there is hopefully you can see a bit of a selection of the colors there they're very uh, muted tones even though it's blue hair and um, pinkish flowers it's a very muted earthy tones to them and here is the image. Now I just love it. I think it's just beautiful. And it's got 26 colors. And this one is a 40 by 55. And it's printed really well. So it's printed new style. So you can see all the curvature and all of the natural lines of the actual original image and then the drill fields placed on top of it. So it is really beautiful and there's no dummy circles on this one. Uh, there are, I'll bring you down so you can have a close look at the drill field. There are some symbols that are like that but the whole thing's uh, shaded in blue so they're not technically dummy circles it's just the way the symbol is printed. So yeah, very clearly printed. You would probably want a light pad because there's a few different symbol changes within these darker background parts as well. But yeah, I think it's a really gorgeous image. But as you can see uh, what I mean, it's, it's blue and pinkish flowers, but they're very earthy toned and uh, muted colors. Okay, so let's pop this one aside and I will bring out the third and final kit. So here it is. Now this one is a 40 by 40 and there's 24 colours. 
first of all there is your standard toolkit and this one's clearly manufactured by a different uh, factory because the drills have come through exactly as I like them pre-kitted in these individual Ziploc bags so again you can see very similar colors muted or earthy tones uh, and yeah beautifully packaged with the canvas number on it which I haven't seen for a while on some of these uh, stickers so just checking yeah A3213 excellent so that's already all detailed for me so when I pop these drills in the separate spot to where I put my canvases easy to identify and here is the canvas um, as you can say similar in the sense it's a blue haired lady with pink flowers now it says 40 by 40 but this seems to have like a lot of border so let's check it out it's really only a 32 by yeah it's a 32 again yeah so it's a 32 by 32 uh, not a 40 by 40 now I find that's a bit of a cheek when they go I'm just going to write that briefly down there so I know what the actual size of the image is that I know they take away it's never the size they advertise but it's usually minus about five centimeters uh, this one is eight centimeters that they've actually done it so you may as well say it's a 30 by 30 image I mean it still looks good just having a look at the print and the glue definitely you can hopefully see the shine of the glue from my lights yeah you can definitely see it there there's definitely a nice chunky layer of glue on it uh, I'll bring you down so you can check out the drill field the drill it's printed really clearly there's no drama in being able to see it and yeah it's just I find taking eight centimeters off the actual advertised size is a bit of a cheek really <laughs> it's because the entire canvas is a 40 by 40 but that's because they've got such huge huge legends on the side as you can see there or there so if they made them a bit narrower they could have advertised this as a 35 by 35 but again it's clearly a different factory to the first one but I don't know if it's the same series of character um, it looks like it because it looks like it's the same sort of tones uh, used um, I might actually cover this one up and bring the other one in and see if we can see if the colors match just out of curiosity for the blues and the pinks but I mean it still looks good it still is printed nice and clear I just um, and I got my drills exactly as I like them I just think that's a bit of a a bit of a cheek <laughs> to take away eight centimeters from what you're advertising as the image I mean, it used to only be two or three when I started diamond painting and then it suddenly jumped to taking away five centimeters I mean I'm glad they didn't print it as a 30 by 30 because then it would only be like a 24 by 24 and it would have lost some detail but still yeah not happy with that to be honest but there it is all covered up again so if I bring them both in together just can have a look yeah I don't think they're, they're not using the same colors either if we look at the two legends together which is fine they don't have to because they are obviously printed at two different manufacturers and this one has two more colors in it anyway so for her face they're using a 3865 and a 3866 which is a white which is interesting so the face on this one's going to be a lot whiter than I oh know they're using a white on this one as well Hmm. So it's not even it's going to be like stark white as opposed to a fleshy color it's going to yeah yeah so the colors there's one or two that might be the same but a lot of them they're definitely using a different hue to the pinks and the blues to here but they both look like they're using the really ultra stark white color on her face rather than a fleshy tone so that mm, it's going to be interesting to see how that they turn out uh, but let's bring in the Halloween sticker as well 
So here are all three kits that were kindly sent to me from a Diamond Art Gift. Uh, they're all quite interesting. I love the images on these. This is why I picked them. I think the, the design is gorgeous. I think it looks slightly better on this one than this one, only because they've really shrunk it down uh, to almost a 30 by 30, where this one is still going to be hopefully like a 50 by 35. But it looks a bit more defined on this one obviously because it's a bigger canvas but I'll have to do them to see how they look. Uh, interesting to see that the fact that the face they're using 3865 which is quite a bright white so yeah um, going to have to see how that looks when it's done uh, but yeah also happy to have received the Halloween sticker so even though you'll see it on the budget friendly uh, websites as happy Halloween it actually is fully happy Halloween so you shouldn't have a problem if you order it through but yeah it's uh, a bit of a mixed review on this one um as I say, I like this image better, but I hate the way the drills came through. And the drills came through perfect on this one, but this image looks like it's missing a little bit because if it was closer to the 40 by 40 or the 35 by 35, which it should be, I think there would have been a bit more detail in it. They've, they've taken way too much off from the size that they're advertising to the size that it is. Um, yeah, so a little bit disappointed in this one, but I would love to hear from you down below in the comments What did you think of these kits? Do you have a favorite? I love to hear from you and I always respond if this is your first time stumbling across my channel Hello and welcome. Thank you for watching this far if you could consider subscribing or actually subscribe would it be even better? <laughs> Hitting that like button and also the notification bell that would all be truly appreciated. If you'd like to support my channel further, I do have a Ko-fi and a Patreon account set up and the details are up here on screen. But that will do it for this video. So everybody, no matter where you are, please stay safe, stay weird, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.